Hey everybody, welcome back to a great 2019-2020 school year. My name is Josh Dewey and I'm the Director of Events for the RVA. I would like to start off this by welcoming you all here today and just sharing with you some of the great things that we hap had happened and some of the great things that we get to look forward to in the upcoming year. As you can see, there's about eight pictures on here that really kind of just touch the tip of the iceberg of the great things that happened in the 103 events that we actually had happen. You can see here painting pictures, you can see team building, you can see school dances, and a little limbo if you haven't already. Well, we, are, we have a lot in store and I can't wait to share with you what's been happening. So again, welcome back. So we have on our radar, who's who and who's new. We had 103 events happen last year and we're gonna even have more this year. And the question is, is how is this happening? So I'd like to introduce to you our fabulous regional event coordinator team. So here we have starting things off for us. I'd like to just uh, give a shout out to the regional event coordinators too for doing such a great job. First of all, all ages Green Bay regional event coordinator, Charlone Nicholas, also serving as our PAC president. Our newest addition in Madison is Nicole O'Connor serving all ages events for the RVA. As well, adding new to the team here is our very own Allie Ranham in the Medford area, all, all ages regional event coordinator. Tracy Moldenhauer again is back serving the Wassa area for all ages and does a fabulous job. Up in the Merrill Gleason area is our very own Tina Ganuick. More even coming farther north from Ashland, Shanna Larson rocking it out with great events for all ages. And our team from Marshfield, Rhonda Anderson and Letha Hopperdiesel for all ages events. We move down south to the eastern part of the state in Milwaukee with Michelle Jacob. And on the other side of the state in La Crosse, Wisconsin is our very own Jenny Fisher serving all ages events. Serving all ages events and high school events in the Eau Claire region is Emily Ernster. And up in Medford serving high school regional events is Jessica Hanel. Traveling more north is our very own Quinn Robinson in the Manaqua area. So these are the regional event coordinators that make this possible. 103 events and you'll soon find out how many we served in attendance and plan to exceed this year. Next, what's in the making? So we say, what's in the making here? As you can see, our regional event coordinators span the entire state of Wisconsin now, and we can serve so many different people in so many different regions because of these, this, this great team that we have. But what's already been taking place this year, you ask? Well, this year, all ages events on the first day of school already had 60 events planned for those developing relationship kind of opportunities for our students and families. High school events had 21 already planned on the first day of school. In a total, we had 81 outstanding events on the schedule on the very first day of school. And I have to give, give a big round of applause to our coordinators who make this all possibility. So that's pretty awesome. Next up, what does that look like going forward? Well, looking from the past, it's always nice to look at a trend line. Back in 2009-10, we had in attendance 232 people. We, almost, we, we doubled that with 579 people the next year. And we continue to grow, and we continue to grow. And then in 2015, it dipped back down, but then we hit the floor running here, and you can see our steep line serving 5,225 people in attendance last year. If we continue to extend this, we can only imagine where we might be 2019, 2020. So it'll be interesting to watch that unfold, and I look forward to, as much as you, seeing where that trend line takes us. Uh, one other addition I'd like to add is that all of our regional event coordinators have gone through um, mandatory reporting training and that is to continue serving our families the best possible way and serving our children the best possible way and to, to understand that how important it is to recognize child maltreatment training and what we do and serve as educators. 
Another addition that I'd like to say is last year we piloted the mentor series. We had, and you may have remembered from previous conversations, we had piloted two mentor series webinars. And what the mentor series is, is an opportunity for uh, continued education in becoming the best home mentor. It's like best practices of home mentorship. Just like as teachers, we continue personal development. We thought, let's bring this to the families so that families can be well informed. And our mentor series uh, schedule this year is already in the making. We've already had Laura McCurgy, who serves as a home mentor and as a teacher for the RVA, gave a presentation on August 22nd and talked to families about planning your school year, the curriculum box and beyond. She touched on great topics like organization, uh, moving around and how, how they find success. Uh, we had 48 people in attendance for that entire hour of that webinar with lots of great interaction in the chat and we use, we use it right in our, our RVA classrooms, Blackboard classrooms. Uh, coming up here in <clears throat> September, we actually have a, a, a talk on technology time. So how can we better use the tools at our fingertips? And we actually have our speaker, Jenna Versch, and Lee Cisneros, two teachers from the RV, are presenting on that actually as a team now. So technology time. And this, this schedule is just gonna continue to fill up. Now, one of the things I'd like to also add is that you know not everybody can make it to a webinar. So what we've done is we've decided to create a mentor series library that is going to house all of this information. The mentor series library is gonna be based on uh, by year. So last year we piloted it with motivating the reluctant learner and discovering and teaching to your child's learning style. Again, in an effort to support home mentors. So if we go into these years, we'll be able to see, I wanna, I, I wanna go back to planning our school year, the curriculum box and beyond. We can see here what tips that, what, what we're gonna be learning. We can also find out a little bit about our presenter here. So if you have an opportunity to check out our webinar recordings, feel free to do so. These are great uh, YouTube videos that support our home mentors and they're presented by our own teachers in the RVA. The next thing I'd like to say is if you have questions, if you have any uh, additions that you'd like to find out more about, maybe a link or some more information, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, again, I'm, my name is Josh Dewey, uh, serving as the RVA uh, Director of Events. Uh, I, today I'm actually down in Toma having a meet and greet and playing on a playground and getting kids meeting each other. So I was unable to attend, but I appreciate you watching this and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, feel free to reach out if you have any questions and uh, have a great day.